So let's do a practice exercise on naming cycloalkanes. So let's look at A. The first thing we need to do oh, is make this a full screen. That would help be helpful. That's better. The first thing we need to do is, is look at the circle, the, the cyclic part of the compound. So how many points does it have? How many carbons? Three, right? Mom eats pickle. Okay, so that is cyclopropane. So, yeah. Come on, little guy, little cyclopropane. If it was just a triangle, it would be cyclopropane. But this has something attached to it. What does this vertical line here represent? A methyl group. Because here it's attached to this carbon, and at the other end of the line is another carbon, but just one carbon. So that's going to be methyl cyclopropane. And that's, that's all strung together. I didn't anticipate that very well. You don't need to put the number, because it's always going to be one. There is no 2-methyl cyclopropane, because you would always number from the methyl. I don't know if you observed in the general chemistry class you took, but chemists seem to avoid writing the number 1. Like in a chemical formula, CH4. We don't write C1H4. And so if it isn't necessary, we're going to leave it out. So when there's only one substituent, the number isn't necessary because everybody knows it would be one. It doesn't, you know, those three carbons are equivalent, and so no matter how you draw it, it's the same thing. Good question. So that's, that's the answer for A. What's the base name of structure B? It's cyclo something, right? Cyclohexane. Cyclohexane. And then we need to look at what are the names of the groups on it. So here we have this. This is one carbon. That's methyl, right? And what's this guy? It's two carbons. One, two. So that's an ethyl group. Here we've got an ethyl group up here, and we've got a methyl group down here. Now, when we list those, those substituent names before the cyclohexane, which one's going to come first? The ethyl. We're going to put them in alphabetical order. So ethyl, methyl, cyclohexane. But we have to specify where the groups are. So we're going to start by numbering with the carbon that one of them is attached to and then go clockwise or counterclockwise to give the smallest numbers. So let's let's start over here. One, two, three, four. If I count the other direction, it still ends up being one and four. How do we decide which one is going to be one? Ethyl or methyl? Alphabetical. There's two, so we're going to go with the one that's first in the alphabet. So we're going to give ethyl the one and methyl the four. So I probably didn't leave enough room here. I'm going to erase that. Just because I can. So we're going to start with one dash, ethyl, we separate numbers and letters with a dash, 1, ethyl, 4, methyl, and then that runs right into cyclohexane. Any questions? about letter C. <coughs> Do 
Well, this is a pentagon, right? So that's going to be cyclopentane. Cyclopentane. And this one has three groups on it. Um, we've got down here, that's a methyl group. And this is a methyl group, and that's an ethyl group. So what do we do when there's two of the same kind? We're going to use a prefix to say there's two. There's two methyls, so we'll say dimethyl. So we're going to have dimethyl, and we've got ethyl. And then we have to figure out how to number this. So we're going to start at one of the substituents. Let's try starting with the ethyl. One, two, three, four. If we numbered the other way, one, two, three, four. We end up with the same numbers. We get a one, a three, and a four. What if we start with one of the methyls? What if we start here? One, two, three, four. So that gave us a one, a two, and a four. Let's, let's label these other guys too. The black numbers gave us one, three, and four. And the red numbers gave us one, three, and four. So there's still another possibility. Let's make it blue. What if we counted the other direction? One, two, three, four, five. So that gives us one, three, and five. That's not good. Most of it, I think we could probably just know that that's not the way to do it. So which of these colors is the best way to number it? The green, right? because that gives us the lowest numbers. We're not going to do this by the alphabet. We're going to do it by the lowest numbers. If we started numbering at this other methyl group, is it going to be any different? One, two, three, four. That still gives us one, two, four. And numbering the other way is not going to be good. The name will be the same either way. If you're not sure, go ahead and write down the different names. And then look and see, oh, is it ending up to be the same? OK, then it doesn't really matter. And check the numbers. So we're going to use the green numbers, because that gave us the best, uh, the lowest numbers. So then the ethyl group is on 4. And the methyls are on 1 and 2. So we're going to put, which should we put first, the dimethyl or the ethyl? The ethyl. Because the prefix di doesn't get counted for alphabetization. Did I say that right? I don't want to try it again. In terms of alphabetizing them. So it's going to be the ethyl first. So we've got 4 ethyl and a dash 1 comma 2 dimethyl cyclopentane. Any questions?